Hey guys, happy Sunday and happy day three of the seven days of crochet with complicated knots. So I got up early this morning and I saw the project for the third project and I got really excited and I got really excited about what it was. So it is a really cute piranha. When I saw this project, the first thing that I really thought of using was this yarn. And this is a really pretty yarn because it has like a little sparkle to it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's really, really pretty with the sparkle. And this is really what just kind of like, I was like, oh, this would be perfect for it. And this is from the Mary Maxim mystery bags that I got a while ago. But when I pulled it out, I realized that it is really, really thin. So I, I, didn't realize it was so thin. So this one I felt like, you know, probably wouldn't work on its own. It might be kind of cool to try to hold it together with another color, like another shade of blue, but uh, I wasn't quite sure about that. So I pulled out a random tote of yarn scraps. Well, not really scraps. Some of them are small amounts, but most of these are used balls of yarn that I kind of just tossed in here. There's no order to them or anything. <laughs> Yeah, so, but when I did open this up and I was looking through and I saw something I thought would work really well. So this color, no clue what kind it is, but it does have, it's a little bit on the thinner side and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And you need two shades of kind of a bluish green. And the one that complicated knots, her colors are actually super, super close. But I was kind of thinking of using these two because they're the same. I don't know what type of yarn this is, but they're the same type. So they both have that kind of silky kind of shimmer look to them. So I'm thinking that I'll go ahead and use these for the body. And then I'll have to grab just some regular white to make the teeth. Oh, it's all tangled up. Oh, there we go. I did get that out. And I also need like a peach color, like this color. But this is just much too thick to pair with this. So you can see it's way different. So I need to go through, see if I can find something that matches the weight a little bit better. I don't know if there's anything in this one. You know what I was also kind of thinking about would work is the yarn that I'm using. Is this white? I need white. I'm gonna use this, it looks like it might be off-white, but I think that'll be fine. It's on the thicker side too. But I think because this one, you're kind of like doing it on top of the stitches. So I think it'll be fine that this one's slightly thicker. So I'm gonna use these. And I still need that peach color. Oh, I found this little ball. I should probably add this to my scrap blanket. It's such a small amount. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this on top of this bin. So, oops. So I can add that to the scrap blanket. Um, pink. So what I think I'm gonna end up actually doing for the peach color that I need, I have no clue what I was making with these little things. <laughs> I'm using that color Spirit for my Cardi. And it does have a nice peach color in it and it's slightly thinner. So I think I'll go ahead and I'm gonna use that because I don't believe I need very much of it. So I'll just find a good section of that and I'll use that for the peach color, I think. Uh, I know this doesn't really go in here, but I'm gonna just put that in here for right now and close this up. All right, so I have my colors and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Right, day three project is finished. 
Here is my little piranha fish. Now this project was a little bit challenging. And the main reason was that the thread I used, I chose it because I loved how it had this little bit of shine to it. And I thought that would look really nice since it's a fish. It'll kind of look like, I don't know, like the fish scales maybe. But the problem was this yarn was very, very thin. And the darker one was actually slightly thicker, just a little bit. But making an amigurumi with yarn that was this thin was a challenge. So the shape kind of came out a little funky, but he is done. I do like him. But so far, the capybaras have been my absolute favorite. So yeah, I am really excited to see what tomorrow's project is going to be. And for tomorrow's project, I'm going to make sure that I actually choose yarn that's a little bit on the thicker side because working with this thin one took me quite a while and I had to frog a couple of times and then I kept kind of missing stitches so I would get to the end of the round and I wouldn't have enough stitch enough stitches so yeah uh tomorrow's project will definitely be going back to using some yarn that is on the thicker side so just want to quickly check in and show you today's project I hope you guys liked it. I think it's still cute, even though it came out a little wonky, but that's just everything I make is always a little bit wonky. So that is going to be it for today. I want to say, as always, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, leaving me comments because it brings me so much joy. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day four of the project. Love you guys and bye guys.